back to the Help the Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and on today's episode, I am the roving organizer. So um, I think it might be the first time I've been the roving organizer. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. Like early days, years ago, when I joined YouTube as a clean eating channel, which quickly turned into a home organization channel because of my extreme pockets of organization in my pantry and fridge. Um, I think I did my besties pantry, but this is my first roving organization project in quite some time. I think my friends and family would appreciate if I did that more and maybe we'll start a series. Today, I am taking my new LifeWit under sink organization to my daughter Madeline's. She needed some organization under the sink ASAP. And so um, when LifeWit reached out to me and offered to send me this specific piece, I was so thrilled because I already have, and I'll link this video in the description box below, but I'm in my studio and I have their, their small caddy, their small rolling cart. And it is, I mean, it's the easiest assembly. My husband was like, did you put that together yourself? <laughs> and I was, I was even surprised to be able to say, yeah, like I totally put that together myself. Like a toddler could put it together and it's still sturdy, which is, that was shocking to me. Easy to assemble and sturdy. And it has been my saving grace. I put all of my watercolor supplies on it. It rolls around perfectly. Again, I'll link that in the description box below because it has been such a great addition to my little home studio. And um, the under the sink storage was very similar in in size and shape, just smaller without wheels because it goes under your sink. It is long and narrow. You could probably turn it the other way, but we put it long and narrow, positioned it long and narrowly so that we could put everything in there and still fit in recycling. You can reach in the side and grab the things out or reach in the front and grab the things out. It has additional hanging hooks, just like my rolling cart, where you can hang your scrub brush, your rubber gloves. You'll see all of it in our beautiful reveal because it was super fun. My, my youngest daughter came with me. We traveled to my oldest daughter, Madeline's. Claire Bear watched the kiddos and Maddie and I tore out everything from under her sink and did an overhaul. So uh, thank you, LifeWit, for sending me the under the sink storage. Thank you on behalf of my Madeline because she benefited from that greatly. It was super fun. She put it together for me. And this is that footage because, um, yeah, we, we, I had to just shoot footage and do voiceover work because it was Grand Baby Central. And oh my, I'll throw in a few shots of Grand Baby Central as well because because I know you guys like to get a little peek at the ground babies once in a while, but alas, the Disney movies were blaring and the toddlers were screeching and my youngest grandson has turned into a pterodactyl. He's one and he's found his voice and he's a baby pterodactyl. So um, yeah, we shot some, shot some beauty footage, shot a little B-roll. Um, we added a little voiceover and this is that video. Here we are at my oldest daughter Madeline's house. We are in her lovely kitchen today and we are going to be working under her sink. I already have her started over here um, unpackaging and getting our little under sink storage ready to be assembled. I did film that so you'll watch how easy it is to assemble this and then we will get started emptying underneath the sink. And just in case you were wondering, this is where the ground babies are. They are on the other side of that wall. My youngest daughter, Claire, is keeping an eye on them, playing and watching a little Toy Story so that me and their mama can get some work done. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes for her. And here we have my Madeline Rose multitasking like every mama does, eating her lunch and opening up this packaging while she is getting that ready to assemble. I thought I would give you a tiny tour of her little home studio. So my daughter Madeline is an artist as well, and she has an Instagram where she does very well on her commissions. She takes three at a time and she's always got a wait list. I'm really proud of her. And now she has been selling her stickers, her original art in sticker form so I'm gonna link her shop in the description box below and here she is assembling our under sink storage from LifeWit and I cannot tell you enough it is so easy peasy and you can take it from me because I don't assemble things I don't even turn on the TV I don't even know how to turn on my husband's TV it is too many controllers and I don't even try and this just like pop it out of the box I can put it together myself, which was a surprise to everyone, but I did put together my own rolling cart, which this is just a mini version, and you're watching Madeline assemble this 
in no time. And here is where Samuel discovers his mother. This is what we call baby jail. <laughs> this baby gate keeps Samuel out of the kitchen while mama is cooking and preparing meals. Um, but yeah, he, he alas, he found his mama assembling our little life wit under sink storage. And right now all she's doing is popping the little tops to finish off the product. So it looks nice and finished. They've thought of everything. And, um, oh, now she's just putting the hooks on, which you just slide the hooks right on the end. And I love those. They were really convenient. And here we have our beautiful reveal. We slid it in lengthwise, which worked best for this space. I'm gonna wager a guess that's probably how it works best in most under sink situations, but we were able to get everything she uses on a regular basis, including her dish soap and hand soap off of her counter, which is like life changing. You know, keep your counters clear and uncluttered, good for the mind, good for the spirit and the little hooks we used to hang her rubber gloves, as well as her dish sponge. Now her dish, dish sponge has seen better days, so disregard that. She added to her Alexa that it was time to get a new one. Um, but the gloves, I just found a chip clip she had, and I used the hook to hook it right there on the hook that came with the LifeWit under sink storage, able to get in all her um, dish cleaning, like dishwasher supplies and stainless wipes and everything you need to keep your kitchen clean. We washed out her trash can and of course we replaced the bag and I was really happy to see that we still had space right here, an empty space for all her recycling, which is just something everyone needs, but it's definitely something that she needs. So here we popped back in just her grocery sack so she can keep her recycling tucked away under the sink and when that fills up, hubby can take it out to the can. And this is basically what was going on behind me. In Grand Baby Land, Samuel is down for a nap. Miss Rose is playing Play-Doh with Auntie Claire, who just noticed I was filming. You see that face? And uh, Madeline is packing orders for her little sticker shop. She's doing very well right now, having lots of commissions and lots of orders. And when Sammy takes a nap and someone's watching your toddler, mama works. And there you have it, our Beautiful after of Madeline's new under the sink system using our LifeWit under the sink storage. And that link will be in the description box below. It really did tick all the boxes. It's easy to assemble. It's sturdy. Um, it had all the bells and whistles. Yeah, I, I was really thrilled with how that came out. And also, I'm going to link the video to my rolling cart caddy that they sent me as well because I've been thrilled with their products. I think you will be too. And um, so yeah, go get your own and uh, let me know how you like it when you do. As usual, we will be back on Tuesday for Tiny Tidy Tuesday with all the usual suspects and a few fun new faces each time. And uh, until then, organize something in your home as a gift to yourself. And we'll see you next time on The Helpful Home.